It's about time I got around to making another one of these, huh? In this installment of Literary References in Fire Emblem, I'll be listing off some biblical names that are scattered throughout the series. But since there are so many of them, I'll only be covering Fire Emblems 1 through 5 in this video, and I'll save the other games for later. But before we start, I've got three quick things to mention. First, some of these names are also present in the Quran, but since I'm not as familiar with the Quran, I won't be discussing the role they play in that text here. I may cover those some other time. Second, I should mention that I doubt there's any real significance when it comes to the writers naming these characters after biblical figures. I just thought this would be a fun list to put together. And third, I, uh, I probably forgot some names, so roast me in the comments for the ones I missed. Alright, let's get it. We start from the very beginning of the series, where our first two cavaliers are Cain and Abel, who in the book of Genesis were the first two sons of Adam and Eve. Cain became humanity's first murderer when he slayed Abel out of jealousy of the favor God put on Abel for his more pleasing sacrifice. Ironically, Fire Emblem's Cain and Abel don't have that same sort of feud, but our next two biblical references definitely do. In chapter 16 of FE1, when you recapture Altea, you have to make the choice between two feuding villages to recruit either Samson or Aaron. Samson in the Book of Judges was a man with superhuman strength whose might derived from his long hair which was in seven braids. He lost his power when he was deceived by his lover Delilah, who ordered that his head be shorn in his sleep. Aaron, though the Bible spells it Aaron, was the brother of Moses and the first high priest of the Israelites, who among other things worked with his brother to liberate the Israelites from slavery in Egypt in the book of Exodus. Jake, of course, is short for Jacob, who was the grandson of Abraham, and who with the help of his mother deceived his brother Esau and his father Isaac to receive his brother's birthright. He later received the name Israel after wrestling with God slash a man slash an angel, there's some debate on which of the three it's supposed to have been, and his twelve sons bore the names from which the twelve tribes of Israel received their names. Maria is another version of the name Mary, who of course was the mother of Jesus. There was another Mary as well, Mary Magdalene, who followed Jesus along with his disciples during his ministry. These two Marys were both present at the crucifixion of Jesus, and they were also two of the first witnesses of his resurrection when they saw the empty tomb where Jesus laid. Michaelis is the Greek form of the name Michael, who in the Bible is named as one of the archangels, or perhaps the only archangel. There's some disagreement there among Jews, Christians, and scholars alike. Described with very warrior-like language, he is often found in direct opposition with Satan, particularly in the books of Jude and Revelation, though he is present in the Old Testament and other Jewish texts as well. The character Caesar makes this list on a technicality, as the Roman Caesars are mentioned several times throughout the New Testament, especially in the Gospels and in the Acts of the Apostles. Now this next one may not technically count, but I'm including it anyway since the name Mathis is just one letter off from Matthias, who was the often forgotten 13th disciple of Jesus, let me explain. After Jesus' betrayal by Judas Iscariot, Jesus was all of a sudden down to 11 disciples instead of 12. It remained this way until after the Ascension, when the disciples decided they needed someone new to once again round out the Twelve. They narrowed it down to two candidates, Matthias and Justus, who despite not technically being disciples, both followed Jesus during his ministry. The Eleven cast lots to see which of the two would be, and it ended up being Matthias. In Ephi Gaiden, the character Zeke refers to the Old Testament prophet Ezekiel, whose writings in the Book of Ezekiel feature perhaps the most vivid imagery present in the Bible, describing everything he sees in meticulous detail, from the appearance of angelic beings, to the destruction of Jerusalem, to the eventual restoration of Israel. I myself often joke that aside from Revelation, it is the most metal book of the Bible. We have Lucas, which is an alternate form of Luke, who is said to have written both the Gospel of Luke and the Book of Acts, detailing the life and ministry of Jesus, as well as the deeds of his followers immediately following his ascension, respectively. We also have Jesse, whose name appears in the Old Testament as Jesse the father of King David. Jesse was a shepherd from Bethlehem, the birth city of Jesus, and as it turns out, he was also one of Jesus' direct ancestors. Now, as you might expect, many of the references in FE3 are shared with FE1, so I won't recap any of those, but there are two new characters that I'll mention. The Cavalier Luke references, well, Luke, who we discussed a second ago, and the swordsman Samuel refers to the prophet Samuel, who among other things helped lead Israel to military victories over the Philistines and was involved in the installation of the first king of Israel, albeit reluctantly. And now, as I address the Yugdral games, keep in mind that biblical names are kinda hard to pin down, since some of these names have yet to receive official translations, but I'll do my best. The Dark Mage Judah bears the same name as the Kingdom of Judah, one of Israel's neighboring kingdoms in the Old Testament. 
You often hear Israel and Judah referred to as sister kingdoms since they were once one nation, but like many sets of siblings, they fought quite frequently, as detailed in the two books of Kings and the two books of Chronicles, among other Old Testament writings. Alternatively, it could be that fans have misinterpreted his name and it's actually meant to be Judas, which would be more fitting for an enemy unit. Judas, as mentioned earlier, was the guy who infamously betrayed Jesus and after realizing what he had done, hanged himself in his shame. Jesus happened to have a second disciple named Judas as well who did not betray him, but not nearly as much is known about that Judas. <laughs> An NPC named Eve appears in chapter 2 of FE4, which is a reference to the first woman Eve whom God created out of Adam's rib. She was tempted by the serpent to eat the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, which both she and Adam partook in, ushering sin into the world. Philip is another character from chapter 2 of FE4, and as it turns out, there are actually multiple Philips in the Bible. The two most prominent were Philip, the disciple of Jesus, who had previously been a disciple of John the Baptist, and Philip the Evangelist, one of the apostles in the book of Acts who traveled the Roman Empire preaching the gospel around the same time as the more famous apostle Paul. Jacobi is another unit from the same chapter as Eve and Philip, who is another reference to the aforementioned Old Testament figure Jacob. The kingdom of Isaac, even though it's a setting and not a character, is a reference to Isaac, the promised son of Abraham and Sarah. More on Sarah in like two paragraphs. He was brought by his father Abraham high upon a mountain to be sacrificed, but was spared at the last moment when God provided a ram for Abraham to sacrifice instead. The sacrifice was a test of Abraham's obedience and trust in God. Like Caesar from FE1, August from FE4 and FE5 makes this list on a technicality, as Caesar Augustus is mentioned by name in the book of Luke. He is the emperor who ordered a census of the Roman Empire to be taken, which brought Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem in time for the birth of Jesus. And last, but certainly not least, the character Sarah from FE5 is a shortened version of Sarah, the wife of Abraham, who was barren until she bore their son Isaac at the ripe old age of 90, becoming the mother of nations as promised by God to her and Abraham. And that concludes this list, at least for now. Again, I'll continue the list in another video, or two or more, sometime down the line. In the meantime, feel free to let me know what I missed in the comments. But with that, stay tuned, and I'll see you soon.